Hey y'all, it's Mr. Boyden, your personal math teacher. I'm back at it again. Um, today's gonna be a quick one because we're talking only about mid-segments. Let's get right into it. So what is a mid-segment? All a mid-segment is, it's when we connect the midpoints of the sides of a triangle or trapezoid. I'm gonna zoom in on this triangle here and show you what that would look like. Okay, mid-segment is when we connect the midpoints of the sides. Let me grab a midpoint here. And the midpoint of this side is probably somewhere in here and let's connect them. So connected. And on the trapezoid, very similar. We're gonna draw in the midpoints of these sides. Midpoint, midpoint, and here we go. And I'm gonna put some markings on these pictures just so it's obvious that it's a mid or that it's a midpoint. So Remember, if it's a midpoint, it's exactly in the middle of the segment, and that means the two sides, or the two segments that it cuts that side into, they are the same length. Okay, same markings over here. Now, there's a couple key things that we're gonna notice about a mid-segment. The first thing that I hope you can see just visually is that you see that the mid-segment is parallel to this other side down here, which we might call the base. In a trapezoid, it's the exact same thing, okay? This mid-segment, it's parallel though to both bases, okay? So that's the first thing, that parallel relationship. The second thing that I want you to see is I want you to gain an understanding of how long that mid-segment is compared to other things. And to do that, I'm gonna do a little bit more drawing on this picture. So let me draw in the other mid-segments. A triangle actually has three mid-segments. I'm gonna come down to the middle of this side, so the two sides, down here are the same, and let's connect these together. All right. Now, when I created those mid segments, that just made four different triangles. Now, I took our big triangle and I chopped it up into four triangles. And it turns out that because the sides are parallel, all four of these triangles are congruent. So, for example, that means that if this length, this mid segment, is five long, well, this down here is also five long, and so is this because it's the same triangle. So imagine, think of it as top triangle, bottom left triangle, bottom right triangle. All three of those are the same, and so they each have the same base. Well, that means this length down here is 10. So what's the relationship of the side lengths? Well, this mid segment, it's only half as long as that additional side down there, or that third, sometimes I refer to it as the third side, or you could call it the parallel side to the mid-segment. Let's just for fun, let's continue marking up this picture because I wanna make sure that, um, or my experience as a teacher is sometimes students, if they just see the markings, they don't really understand the side length relationships. So I wanna try to make that clear with numbers. So like if this side length is three, this is three, and so is that one. And if this side length was four, this side length would also be four over here because they have the same markings. And so would this one because it's the same triangle as those other two. Okay, with those things in mind, uh, let's go look at the trapezoid. Then we're gonna summarize this learning before we do an example. Now, what about the trapezoid? The key thing that we need to be able to get off of the trapezoid is the length of this mid-segment, the one in the middle. So we're gonna now turn this into an example problem. I'm gonna call that X, and let's call this 10, that length on top, and let's call this one down here 20. And so the first thing that we'd wanna think about, because um, sometimes we, we make guesses, but they're not really very uh, educated. Let's make, let's make an educated guess on this one. Okay, the first thing that might be obvious is that x is a number that's smaller than 20 because that side is shorter, and it's a number bigger than 10 because it's longer than that side that's 10. And so the question is, how much bigger is it than 10 and how much smaller than 20? Well, notice these midpoints, they're halfway in the middle. And that means that this side length in here, it's exactly halfway in the middle, it's 15. I wanna show you two different ways of thinking about that. Both are quick. The first one is, as we go on down this shape, we're adding the same number every time. Adding five, adding five, and you know what? If we added on some more going down the page, it would be adding on five again. So let's just demonstrate that really quickly. If we added on some more, and if these side lengths on the side are the same, then the next one would be 25. It would continue 25. It would continue to add five every time. We could also do the same thing working upward if we wanted to, we could work up some more. 
And if those are the same lengths, then it would just be five up here because then we'd add five to get to 10. So now we're kind of building this pyramid shape all of a sudden, right? And actually, if we did once more, it would all of a sudden create the full pyramid. There's another way of finding that middle side length. I'm talking about this one that was in here. What we could have done is taken these two, 10 and 20, and realized that since that side length was halfway in between them, it, the number of the length of that side would also be halfway in between. And what that would look like is the average of those two. That's also the same thing as finding the midpoint, if you thought of it as a segment. So 10 plus 20 divided by two, that's 30 divided by two, that's 15. So that's a different method, bad handwriting, 15, sorry about that. And so that's a different method of getting that same answer. Both can be useful for solving different types of problems. So let's summarize everything we've talked about so far in just a couple of quick sentences. And here it is. In a triangle, the mid segment is half as long as the side parallel to it. We saw that up here above because we saw that if this side was five, the entire length of the bottom was 10. Okay, five and 10, there's that half relationship. Second thing, in a trapezoid, the length of the mid segment is the average of the lengths of the bases. Average, we showed that calculation where we added them together and divided by two. You may want to add one more thing. I found that in class, it helps a lot of my students if they remember that in a triangle, if they draw in all the mid segments, it makes four congruent triangles. A lot of times they find that that makes problem solving really easy. So you may want to add something about that too. If you're taking notes right now in a notebook, please feel free to pause the video. Um, I'm not going to build in a pause to the video. I'm going to keep going. Okay, let's do an example. And here it is. I want to encourage you, as always, to pause the video right now so you can get your notes set up. And also, why not just try the question, see how you do. That way, when you, when you hit play, you'll get some feedback and you'll know how you did. Okay, so what do they tell us? They told us that DE is a mid-segment. Notice there's no markings on the picture. They just told us, hey, just so you know, it's a mid-segment, so all that stuff we just learned applies. What else? They said we need to find all the missing angles. Okay, got it. And they said the perimeter is 25 and they asked us how long AC is. All right, so let's try to go get all the easy stuff down right now. So remember, we learned that these side lengths are parallel. So that means automatically this is 70 and that's 33. Those are pairs of corresponding angles. And you know what, we're on a roll with the angles. Why not find angle B right now? We notice that we have a triangle up here. So let's take 180 and subtract the other two angles in that triangle. And we get 77. And now we're on to dealing with the sides. Now it's a little premature to jump to talking just about the perimeter because we're missing a bunch of side lengths. So let's fill those in. Do we know how long this side length is? Yeah, they told us that we're dealing with a mid segment. So that's also three. And this is five, so that's also five. So let me take stock for just a second. One thing that helps me sometimes, if the picture is overwhelming, is I'll just draw the picture with only the information that I think would help me. And this is that information. Now I know this side on the right is 10, because we have five plus five. On the left, it's three and three, so that's six. They told me the perimeter would be 25, and they asked for AC. That's that side along the bottom, so that's what I'm trying to find. So they said that all these would add to 25. So let's take 25 and subtract what we have. And let's see really quickly, what is that? Okay, and that looks like that's probably nine. And so if this missing side length is nine, AC is nine, then all of those sides add up to 25 like they're supposed to. People, I told you it'd be a quick one today. Uh, that's it, that's all the key concepts for mid-segments. I hope this will be helpful to you and I'll see you next time.